Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee. I would normally say along with Pretty Miss Sheila, but she's down in Red Bay, Alabama with her mom, and those girls are shopping, and you, who knows what they're doing. But today, we're going to make Savannah Red Rice and Sausage. If you know anything about this recipe, you get down their neck of the woods, Savannah, Georgia area, they don't care what they're having for dinner. It can be steak, roast, seafood. But if they don't have the red rice, it's not a meal. Come on over here, we're gonna show you exactly how we're gonna take some rice and some diced tomatoes and some sausage and the Holy Trinity and a bunch of goodies and make this dish. Check it out. I got about four slices of bacon in this bowl cut up in little teeny pieces. Not only are we gonna use the rendered fat out of this to cook our Holy Trinity, but it's also going into the dish itself. Let me get this working up here a little bit. We're gonna get this till this bacon is not really crisp, but just really nice and soft. Almost like that bacon that you get in pork and beans, if that makes any sense. All right, our bacon is cooked down nice. Time to add the Holy Trinity. And what that is, is celery, green peppers, and onions. Now I should use about a half a cup for this recipe of each one. Half a cup of onions, half a cup of celery, half a cup, cup of green peppers. But I'm gonna use a cup of each because I want a lot of vegetables in this red rice. And by the way, let me explain the Holy Trinity thing. That's a kind of a, uh, a, a term that they picked up down in Louisiana and all that. They use it to start out just about all their Cajun recipes and stuff. And someone said, well, why do they call it the Holy Trinity? They said, because a lot of our moms and grandmoms at Cook said, the good Lord provides everything right out of the garden. So when you're cooking with onions and celery and peppers, you're cooking with the Holy Trinity. So we're going to soften these up a little bit. And we'll be right back with you. This will take a couple of minutes to get these just right. Then we're going to move these out of the way and we're going to move the rice in here and we'll show you how we season that up. Boy, our vegetables are just nice and soft. It's been about 10 minutes on medium to medium high heat. But I'm going to transfer those rascals into this little cup. And I'll be right back with you as soon as I get this done and get my rice moved over in the middle. We got our veggies done and it's time to doctor up the rice. I got two cups of cooked rice in here. And then I think you add like four cups of water and it soaks it up and all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna start out by putting in one cup of tomato sauce. Stir that in there. You see the red rice thing happening, don't you, already? We may need a little more sauce. We'll find out as we go here. If I have to, I'm going to go in the kitchen and get another cup. But right now, we're going to bring it up to this point, and then we're going to add two cups of diced tomatoes, chunky diced tomatoes in there. Stir that around in our rice. Oh, it's starting to look good now. Now it's happening. Now we got some Savannah red rice, but we're not done yet here. We're also going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. And the reason we're only using that much is because we're going to put some sausage in here in just a minute. But you know I love pepper, but I'm not putting a tablespoon of pepper in here because I like it, but because that's what that southern recipe calls for. Lots of pepper in your savannah red rice. So we're putting in a tablespoon. Don't be shy on the pepper with this recipe. That's what makes everybody love it. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back because we're gonna bake this I don't want the dish to dry out. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get another half a cup of this tomato sauce. Be right back. Ah, heck with it. We're just going to put in a whole cup because each one of those cans held a little over a cup. 
And the reason I decided to do that is to deal with all these veggies that are getting ready to go in here right now. Now I was going to go a half a cup and I'm glad I went with a cup of each because that's just perfect once it was all cooked down. Now here's where you make your decision. You can go with seafood, you could even go with chicken, you could do whatever you want for your savannah red rice, but we're going with andouille sausage. Let me explain something. This is Johnsonville. There's also a company out there called Ragin' Cajun, and they make a mild and a hot, and even their mild is really busy in your mouth, if you know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go with this, that way Sheila will eat it, because if it gets too hot, she's not gonna eat it. And I put about two-thirds of that package in there, which worked out to be about two cups loosely. And now, that we got our sausage in there and all our goodies and our veggies and everything. And the reason we're going to bake this in the oven is we want that sausage to release some of its flavor into the rice. So we're going to pop this in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees and we'll be right back. Well, our Savannah red rice is fresh back from the oven, 350 degrees for 45 minutes. And you know what I did? I took the rest of that sausage. I had a chunk left in there. This is a 13.5 ounce package. Slice up enough to just kind of coat the top then put all the rest of it within the rice when you bake it and it's gonna look like this looks right now. Now I baked it with the lid off, but I got the lid on there because I want you to come over and then I want to surprise you when I take the lid off. So take a look at this. So are you ready for this? Does that look fantastic? Or what? That, my friends, is very pretty. Pretty good tasting, too, I'll bet. Let me dip into a little bit of this. Savannah red rice with sausage. Now, I might turn the volume down for just a second while I taste this so I don't smack on camera because I have to give this a taste. That is fabulous. Check this out. Is that a good little thumbnail shot for you or what? Man, I could not be happier than the outcome of this recipe. This is so delicious and it just turned out so perfect. Now you notice I changed a few things as I went along. I added an extra can of tomato sauce. I used the rest of the sausage. We really hope you subscribe to our channel. Right over here you'll see little Shotgun Red's face pop up in just a second. You just put your pointer on there and click on it and it'll pop up and you can subscribe. And over here, I'll put some other recipe that I think you'll really enjoy. Something spicy, maybe some Cajun something, crawfish or something. But I'll put something over there. But most of all, wow, is this the best Savannah red rice with sausage? Now remember, you can use anything else you want. Seafood, you can put in chicken, you can do all kinds of stuff. But Savannah red rice with sausage, you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee, flying solo because Sheila's down in Alabama with her mom for a few days. And I hope this turned out great for you. And we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. And I'm going to turn the camera off because I have to have another little nibble of this. Bye-bye.